re recasting would be insulting and recasting would not be paid due respect. This thing of Black Panther, it's more important than just me. It's a tricky one. It's a tricky one to recast or not to recast. Because you can look at this in both ways. So let's look at, at the first way. Not to recast. Um, Black Panther is a very unique film. And Chadwick Boseman was more than just the lead. He was sort of the custodian of the whole franchise and so forth. And even when you look at when he went to the Oscars, he just seemed as if he was the guy that was front and center and really just was the leader and the totem pole for the whole franchise. More so, relationships. How close was he to Letitia Rice? How close was he to Lupita? Like, I follow Lupita on Instagram. She's her... Um, AVI is still of her and Charvik. And she was like, yeah, this guy was like a brother. You know, Ran Kubli, we know how close he was. So guys were very close to him because it was a very close knit crew because it was such a very special, unique kind of a film. So the bond that everyone had was unique. And I think my thing is about for Ryan Coogler, he's the guy, he's the head honcho, he is the dude, he's the director, he's the captain of the ship. So in his mind, remember, he's writing as well. So he would be like, okay, um, I just feel that I can't, based on how my proximity to him and what I feel right as an artist and as a guy, well, as an artist and as a guy, re recasting would be insulting and recasting would not be paid due respect. So that's, that's one aspect. The second aspect. We don't know what anybody would want. We can have a guess. We can have a guess. I would make an educated guess that if you were to ask Chadwick and so forth that would you want someone else to play Black Panther if you were to, to die and so forth? He would say yes. Because he would say that uh, this thing of Black Panther, it's more important than just me. That actually what would be of respect is to say, no, this Black Panther must carry on in his name. And what you do is maybe there is a site or something, maybe... There's a site or something that's maybe named after him. So sort of like a meta kind of inside thing. But he would be like, this franchise can't stop it because of me. Because what we did was so special. Black Panther as a character is so special for young black kids and so forth. It would be a detriment to the character. And what we did for the character just to not exist any anymore. Um, so those are the two aspects. Where do I lie? It's tough. Because I can see it from, from both ways. See, my initial thing is I think you should re recast and that is a respectful thing to do. Because you see, I know what Black Panther did and so forth, but it's it's a movie. But not only is it it's a movie, it's a, it's a character that could be very important to, forget about MCU, to, to kids. And I would just feel that Chadwick Boseman would say, I, I would want that character to, to carry on. Don't let the character die with me. No, I wanted to carry on and carry on my legacy with what I did with the character. Let me pass the torch to someone else. But at the same time, I think it's a down to Ryan Cook. Because I think for Ryan, he's like, I'm the director and writer here. I don't feel good re recasting. I don't feel good recasting. Even more so, who would want to step into those shoes? Just because it's such a unique kind of film in terms of what it did and so forth. And we all know how we reacted to the sh to the shocking Chadwick Boseman news and everything. What act would even want to take on the role? Most actors would be like, bro, because any actor that would want to take the role would be like, mm, how would I be? How how would it be received? So it's a tough one, man. It's a tough one. Um, I am still in the camp of it should be recast because I just feel that um, because like. Let's people are saying, okay, could it be Letitia Wright or so forth? No, it doesn't work. No. <laughs> Letitia Wright can't be Black Panther. No, that that doesn't work. She works best as Shuri. That is what she does great there. She doesn't work as Black Panther. So that's what I think. I think it 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 should be be recast, and I think you can be res respectful there in doing that because I I just think it's wrong to assume that. Oh no, it is wrong to assume that if you recast, that is being insulting to Chadwick Boseman. No, no. 
I believe that you can be still be respectful and say that no, we are carrying on, but we're carrying on in your legacy, you know. And the next one, of course, is going to be de dedicated to him. And also, also as well, someone made this point on Twitter. I don't know how I feel. See, this is it's weird. I don't know how I feel if his death is a major plot device for a movie. So I don't. So I think that could actually be in more bad taste that you're now using his death as a plot device for emotional stuff but at the same time it's real like those tears from Milo Pizza from Leticia Wright or Angela Bassett who is freaking amazing in that those tears so I'm sure when they were doing those things of that loss they feel the loss for real they're like oh no this isn't even acting so this is sort of a, a weird kind of bridge between acting and reality because these guys know we really feel his loss so it's going to be a very strange film because the emotions are there for the film, but the emotions are also real because we all know how everyone felt about Chadwick Boseman and losing Chadwick Boseman in that way. But I, mean, I don't tell you guys what you think because I know what, I know what I've, I've given my thoughts, but tell me guys what you you think about the whole thing, you know. Um, but that being said, very good trailer, very good trailer. Again, I'm not a, a, a huge Bob Marley fan, but how it's mixed well with the trailer and went into. Um, Kendrick's all right. Just the way the trailer was made, constructed, just the editing of the trailer, like really good, really good, like I'm much better than the first trailer. Very good trailer. And bottom line, as I said again, Ryan Coogler is perfect now. He's not made it. He's not missed a BTA. You know the guy, Fruitvale Station, um, Creed, Black Panther. The guy, the guy is three for three. <laughs> the guy is three for three. The guy's a damn good director. So just from a film fan's point of view. I'm looking forward just to see how what he does in this film. But tell me guys what you think. Should they or should they not recast T'Challa?